Morning, everyone. It's uh, Thursday, April 15th, and it's 847, and this is your video number 714. It's your pre-opening comment for today. Uh, lots of news, lots of uh, information here today between earnings and spinoffs and claims numbers. <clears throat> so let's start with those claims. Claims absolutely collapsed, not only below 700,000, but below 600,000 to 576. That's versus a revised 769. That was revised slightly higher. Continuing claims also revised a little higher uh, to uh, 3727, 3 million 727,000. <clears throat> and continuing claims were actually up a little to 3 million 700 and 31,000. Retail sales up 9.8% versus 5.8% uh, last month. And the uh, Philly Fed number 50.2 uh, versus 51.8. And the Empire State moved higher, 26.3 versus 20 expected. Uh, some of those numbers may be a little warped, frankly, I find the initial claims number ridiculous, uh, but that's just me. Um, but, uh, you know, you have to remember that on things like retail sales, there are two components. That's the amount of retail sales and the prices at which they are, um, you know, at which they transpire. So uh, unchanged sales at higher prices gives retail sales a boost. I'm not saying that that's what it is. I'm just saying that until we see how those retail sales numbers actually um, affect GDP, we really won't have the answer to that. Uh, on the earnings front, financials, we had Citi with a beat, Bank of America with a beat, uh, Blackstone with a beat. Uh, Citi is uh, 7508 up 217. Uh, Bank of America is 4040 up 52 or 1.3 percent. And Blackstone is um, up about 10 at 812. Uh, the issue with Blackstone is the fact that uh, their numbers were not overwhelming beats. Uh, but their assets under management were up 39%, so that's pretty impressive. Uh, UNH and PepsiCo both beat uh, UNH 382.50 up 687 or 1.8%, and uh, PepsiCo 142.5 up 39, not even worth discussing what the percentage move there was. And for the 730th time, Dell announced again today that they were going to be spinning out VMware. Do people really have that short a memory that they don't remember that they talked about this, made the same announcement three months ago, six months ago, a year and six months ago? I mean, this is a recurring theme uh, with this spinoff, and, you know, it pops the stock each and every time. So, you know, take some ginkgo, people. Improve your memory. You've heard this already. Uh, futures are showing the Dow up about 170. It was up about 170 before the initial claims and the retail sales numbers. It jumped up as high as up about 200 and is back now at 170, which is, you know, not bad considering that uh, with the market yesterday, the Dow, the only one that was really substantially higher uh, after being up two and a quarter, finishing up 56. Um, you know, this is a pretty quick bounce back. Um, and one of the reasons that I'm going to go on record as saying, I mentioned last night in the closing comment, on the NYSE, the advancing declining volume was dramatically weighted to the gainers. Uh, I think that if I recall, the uh, number was about 2 million volume up and about 1.2 million down. So, uh, you know, that's still pretty nice. Um, 
NASDAQ is gaining back most of what it lost yesterday, showing up 140. And uh, the S&P, which was down 16 and change, is up 26 and change. So uh, we're a little bit stronger there. The chart on the screen is the gold, just like it wouldn't follow through to the upside. It didn't follow through to the downside yesterday. And today it is right back up in that 17 50 area, actually 1747, up about $10.70. Still has to close above this uh, number, which is uh, 1758.20. We are still riding the downtrend uh, line here of the uh, 50 day moving average. Haven't been able to break above that. Um, as you can see, the 20 day is flattened out. Uh, the five day, which is this purple line, is, you know, not really strong up or strong down. Just seems to be going sideways as it did in the consolidation before the break. Um, I still favor a break to the upside here, but, you know, that's just my normal bent. All right, everyone. Have a good morning. Be careful out there. There's more news to come, more earnings, and uh, have a good day.